Hey YouTube, today's video is about lighting. I want to talk about lighting because lighting is really important. So I need to get this in today. Um, you have direct sun, you have bright indirect light, you have low light. You even have a medium light, which I would consider bright indirect light too, but you'll see that sometimes, medium light. Um, what's important about lighting is knowing the lighting that your home provides. Uh, like I said before, you need to know direction of the sun exposure that you're getting in your house because that will help you a lot. Um, your bright color plants pretty much like bright light. They don't want to be in direct sun. But bright colored plants need a little bit more light, so they would probably like a south facing window or maybe a west facing window or southwest. Um, low light means east, so your plants would get morning sun or um, north. The north window is the lowest light exposure that you will have, but it will usually sustain your plants maybe if you put them up close enough to the window. Um, now your variegated plants along like with your bright colored plants they will like more sunlight. Now a lot of times your plants will tell you the least amount of light that it can take but a lot of times these same plants can take more light than what they're advertised as. So like your mother-in-law's tongue, your Sansevieria, uh, it's usually always considered a low light plant. ZZ plant is always considered a low light plant. Um, but they can take more sun than that. I have both my mother-in-law's tongue and my ZZ plant in a west facing window and they're doing fine. I water them probably about once a month and that's it, I leave it alone. Um, plants right here behind me, which I can't probably show you too good because it's really bright out right now, so the lighting is going to wash everything out. But uh, these are my south facing plant window. And um, I still have a tree back there that shades the plants in the house and even on my patio back there. But um, it gives a brighter light still to sustain them. So I have here a bright plant. This is a baby ruby rubber plant. Like strawberries and cream they call it. If I were to put this in more sun, it's already a little pink, but if I gave it more sun, you would see more pink of it on it this leaf right here. This sits in my south facing window because I know it likes bright light so that's where it lives at. I also have a Monstera Adansonia here. It likes bright light. It's not getting direct sun. Now direct sun is a different thing. Direct sun is what you would want to put maybe your cacti or your euphorbia uh, in. You have um, plants that flower and bloom they like more sun because they need more sun to photosynthesize so that they can have the energy to actually produce flowers. So um, you want to put your green leafy plants, like uh, your thin leaf plants, they need um, light but they don't want direct sun because you'll give them sunburn. You'll start turning them brown, they'll start burning up on you. You want to um, maybe pull them back if your window has no shade or no awning over the window, no cover, no nothing. As that sun comes around your house to the south, it kind of stays there longer. Um, you get more of that exposure throughout the day longer than you would other exposures. Um, at least I do in my house. So the thin leaf plants, you may need to pull back a, a foot or two away from the window. or um, if you notice that it's not reacting well, maybe you need to pull it back five or six feet. It can be inside the interior of your home. Uh, maybe ten feet. 
depending on what type of plant it is and what type of lighting they need. But that's pretty much the simplest way that I can kind of explain your lighting situation to you without getting to, I'm trying to move out this light because I don't like the lighting myself. A video about lighting and I don't like the lighting. Um, but you, you just kind of want to make sure that you're paying attention and being aware of uh, your plants and how they're receiving the light and how they're acting after you've placed them somewhere. As I said before, if you notice that your plant is not doing well, move it. Um, maybe it needs another spot that it would like better. You won't know that until you move it. If you just put it somewhere for aesthetic purposes because you like it and you like the way it looks where you set it at, that can be detrimental because if that's not what the plant wants, you can damage and lose your plant. So, um, I think that's about all I want to say about lighting right now. I try to make it as plain and as simple as I can because it's kind of a difficult subject to describe because every area, every house, every office, wherever you have plants is different for each house, even each um, area in the country, wherever you live, you're going to have different lighting than what I have. But those are kind of some of the things that I think about when I place plants and uh, try to figure out where I want to place them and what makes more sense to them. So, with that being said, I think I'm done. You guys have a good day. Goodbye.